Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to use ADC module of STM32F4 Discovery Board. STM32F4 Discovery Board comes with STM32F407 VG microcontroller. And this microcontroller has three ADC modules built inside it. And each ADC module has 16 analog input channels. But these 16 analog input channels are shared among these three ADC modules. That means if we use analog channel 0 for ADC 1, we cannot use it for other ADCs like ADC 2 and ADC 3 at the same time. That means we can use up to 16 analog channels with these three ADC modules. So if you see the data sheet of STM32F407 VG microcontroller, here you can see this, these three ADC modules can be configured in 6-bit, 8-bit, 10-bit and 12-bit resolution. And also these ADC modules can be configured in scan mode, continuous conversion mode and we can also take the data from ADC in polling method or in interrupt method. But in this tutorial we will see how to, how to use ADC to take analog input measurement using a polling method. In the coming videos we will see DMA and interrupt based methods also. So now let's go to Keel Microvision and create new project. Here I have already created a new project but if you have not created your project in Keel Microvision and you are using Keel Microvision for the first time, I recommend you to watch my previous videos so now let's see how to use analog channel 0 of STM32F4 discovery board to read analog input. So first of all we need to find which GPIO pin is used to read analog value from analog channel 0. To find this go to the data sheet of STM32F4 discovery board and go to the pin outs and pin description. Here you can see pin PA0 is connected with analog channel 0 and ADC123 means the same PA0 pin can be used to read ADC1 module, ADC2 module and ADC3 module values for analog channel 0. But as we mentioned earlier only one analog channel can be used with one ADC channel at a time. So let's say in this tutorial we want to use ADC channel ADC module 2. So we will use analog channel 0 and to read the analog input with analog channel 0 we can use PA0 pin which is the 0th pin of GPIO port A. So now let's go to Keel Microvision. Here I have already written a code to read analog value from P0 pin using analog channel 0 and ADC module 2. First, first of all we need to configure the P0 pin as an analog input pin. So we have defined this function configure GPIO. If you go to the definition of this function to configure GPIO first we have to enable the clock uh, for the specified GPIO pin. So PA0 pin is, is the 0th pin of GPI port A so we have enabled the clock. After that we have created an, an instance of GPIO initialize type def which is used to configure and initialize GPIO pins. After that we have selected the pin which is GPIO pin 0 using the pin member of this struct and after that we have selected the analog mode using the mode member at the end make sure to disable internal pull up resistors or pull up or pull down resistors of GPIO A and at the end pass these values to GPIO initialization function which is used to configure and initialize GPIO according to these settings. So first we need to pass the GPIO name and the second thing is the address of this structure. So this function will configure the GPIO pin which is PA0 as an analog input pin. 
and the second function which we are using is configure adc to channel 0 so if you go to the definition of this function first we enable the clock to adc2 so this function is used to enable clock to adc2 if you are using adc1 or adc3 you just need to replace their number so we are using adc2 and so here we will use adc2 so after that we need we have created an instance of gp adc handle type def function ADC handle type def function is used to configure and initialize ADC modules. So go to this definition and here you can find all the information about this struct. So here we have created an instance of this uh, ADC handle type def structure. So first you need to select the ADC channel. So by using this instance of uh, ADC handle type def we have selected the adc channel and after that we set the resolution to 12 bit but you can set the resolution to 6 bit 8 bit and 10 bit also and in this tutorial we are using adc in single channel and single conversion mode so for end of conversion selection we have selected adc eoc single conversion and this will configure the ADC2 for single channel and single conversion mode. And this will align the data in write justified mode. And at the end, we have selected the clock prescaler for ADC2, which is ADC clock frequency divided by 2. To find more information about these, you can go to this structure. Go to the definition here you can find the information about these elements clock prescaler selects adc clock prescaler the clock is common for all adcs and this is used to set the resolution data alignment we will use other members in the coming tutorials because in this tutorial we are using adc in single channel single conversion mode only that's why we have used only three to four members to find values of these members here you can see scroll down uh, for example here we have selected adc clock synchronization piece piece clock division 2 so it will select the frequency of adc uh, divided by 2 whatever is the frequency for adc module it will divide it by 2 at the end to configure uh, initialize adc module uh, we use this function hall adc initialize you can find more information about this function here in the adc and hall adc initialize here you can see this function takes only one parameter as an argument which is a struct adc handle type def which we have already defined here and we have already done the settings for this also so when you pass the pass the address of this instance to this uh, through this function it will configure the adc2 according to above settings so up till now we have only configured the gpio pin and and configure the adc2 but we did not select the adc channel now to select the adc channel for adc2 module we use this struct adc channel config type definition if you go to the definition of this struct here you can see this struct is used to select the channel the first member specify the channel to configure into adc and the second is used to define the rank and the third is used to select the sampling time and the third one is offset so here first we created the instance for uh, analog channel 0 with the help with, by giving the name of channel 0 and then we select the channel adc channel 0 and set the rank to 1 and after that we select the sampling time of 15 cycles but you can select other time also so to find information about the time you can you can search this file uh, if you scroll down here you can find more information about the time here you can see adc sampling time adc sampling time 3 cycles 15 cycles 20 and up to 480 cycles but in this tutorial we're using 15 cycles only so now to configure the ADC channel, we use this function hall adc configure channel. 
and if you go to the definition of this function go to definition here you can see this this function takes two inputs as an argument first one is the uh, adc handle type struct and the second one is the adc channel config type so we pass the first argument uh, is this instance of uh, the struct and the second one is adc channel config type def so it will initial it will select the adc channel it's adc channel 0 for adc to do so at the end we have created one uh, delay millisecond function now if we go to the main function first we call the inside the main function first we call these two functions to uh, initialize gpr pins and configure adc do and inside the adc inside the wall function first we use hall adc start hall adc start function is used to start reading adc value from a specified adc channel for example uh, here we in, you need to pass one argument and this argument uh, should already be defined here we have defined the instance of uh, adc handle type of so pass this value this address of this struct to do this function it will start adc conversion and the second thing uh, we are using a uh, polling based approach in this method so a hall adc poll for conversion function wait for the conversion to complete if you go to the definition of this function uh, here you can see in this function there are two arguments first is same uh, struct and the second one is the timeout time for example here we specify the timeout of 5 millisecond but you can define any time value you want so when the conversion will complete this condition will become true and we can read the adc value this function hall adc get value function is used to read the adc value so similarly pass this uh, instance to this function and read the adc value we are using uh, unsigned int 32 32 bit size adc value to store the result of this a to d conversion after that you can convert this adc value back into voltage by multiplying it with uh, resolution which is 0.8 millivolt and uh, for now let's comment it and at the end after reading the adc value use this function hall adc stop to stop the adc conversion so now let's just see the working of this code so first of all click on the compile button and you will see code compiled successfully and after that click on build project project is created successfully now upload this code to stm32 for discovery board after that click on the debugger button and now we want to check the value of this uh, adc value to so to see the adc value just click on it and add it to your watch window here we have let's remove the previously added values okay so here we have added uh, adc value variable into the watch window so on select he uh, hexadecimal value so now if you click on this run button you will see you will get the values here you are getting adc value as soon as because i am i am rotating my potentiometer connected with the pr0 pin as you can see the values of adc is also changing so let's move it to other direction as you can see values are decreasing so this is how we can use adc module of stm32 f4 discovery board in the in the next video we will see how to use adc in using interrupt based method